D2DNY real world HVAC simplified and in this video this is the graveyard edition there's a cemetery cemetery over there you can see a bunch of graves graveyard edition all right well enough of that let's go and actually look at this heating service call so we have a heating service call no heat train voyager rooftop unit or rtu unit no heating so i already have, have, have everything open as you could see there is your supply fan and uh there is your heating section or heating furnace and if you can look closely you can see that i have the uh draft induced fan motor unplugged right so there's no power going to this motor whatsoever it's unplugged here is the other half of the plug and typically how this uh, furnace would work on a call for heat the uh, draft induced motor will start up first and then inside of it there is a centrifugal switch which will send a signal back to the main heating control board saying that the, uh, the fan is running and then it will, heating control board will then send a signal to your flame sensor slash igniter. It's a glow igniter, that's 120 volts power, right? So it will send a signal to here for it to light up then it will also send a signal to the gas valve to open the gas and uh, after a pretty determined amount of time I think not too long uh, more than likely be about anywhere between three and five seconds this now double action now change into a flame sensor and send a signal back to the board saying hey I got fire there's fire in the furnace and everything is okay everyone is happy heating works nice and warm all right but in this case you can see that there's a back draft coming from the heating chamber or the heating furnace or, 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 or the heat exchanger <laughs> the heat exchanger the back draft coming from the heat exchanger and causing this the, the blower there's a scroll cage fan in here housed housed in here it's connected to, to this motor or driven by this motor and so there's a back draft coming through it causing it to spin right let me do that again clearly you can see that it's actually turning let me zoom in on that right so it's turning but there's no connection there's no wires it's, it's unplugged there is no magic maybe there's a ghost over here <laughs> a ghost from the cemetery right the ghost but well, anyways so the reason why this is happening is because there is definitely absolutely a crack or a hole in this heat exchanger and it's the reason why the air pressure from the supply fan is causing this to move to turn so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knife off the unit. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, uh, much more quieter. So, you can hear this fan, the bearing is bad too in this, in this motor. You can hear it and it's spinning still. Okay, so now it stopped. And it's uh, miraculously, it remained off doesn't move no ghost no magic no acrobat <laughs> all right so the only reason why that was turning is because the air pressure from the supply fan was pushing through the heat exchanger because there's a hole in it so in that case what you want to do shut off your gas valve right there or your main service gas valve shut it off and um don't even attempt to fire the furnace because 
bad things could happen. You know, we, we uh, typically this fan here is supposed to pull air through these little holes. And I know that you can't see the actual squirrel cage, but it's a small squirrel cage in here. It sucks the air in through these holes. The fuel comes out from the gas valve right here and it mixed in air and fuel mixed dump into the chamber and you know you have the ignition ignition or igniter right here which is going to ignite everything and then the combust uh gases will come out through here these exhaust and everything is good no i don't want to find out what's going to happen if i would try to fire this furnace in this condition you know i i just don't want to be here <laughs> okay so that's pretty much it for this video train rooftop voyager 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 i think it's a voyager unit train voyager right uh faulty heat exchanger diagnostics so in this case what i'm going to do i'm going to order a new draft induced motor i'm going to order the new a um heat exchanger and i'm going to order this back plate i think it's a separate item this plate right here i got a brand new back plate and then on the the, the draft induced motor when you're ordered from train you get the motor you get the uh this housing right here and the the wheel the blur wheel which is in here all comes together with a, with, with a gasket that goes around here all right so you get this part this part stays this piece with the hole that part stays we get this part the motor comes all pre-assembled with the with a wheel scroll cage in here all right and um so that and i'm going to also order a new flame sensor slash igniter this is a glow igniter can i unplug this sucker no, I'm telling you this point. all right so that's pretty much the diagnostic guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe videos uploaded to youtube on a weekly basis real world real time real hvac simplified here is the tag if you like all right i don't know if you got this type of unit but um this is not for do-it-yourselfers just so you know pros only all right make sure you close your gas valve safety it off and you can also close here if you like make it even more safe so you, you turn that one off as well and then you uh, also unplug this plug so we know that hey there's no way all right we're safe off repairs has to be done